Hello. Right, I want to do this little mini series on um, some data that I shot, which was M31 Andromeda Galaxy. I'm going to start right from the beginning. So, looking at the files and then going through the stacking, the calibrating, all the way through the post process, and hopefully finish up with a half decent image. So, let's take a look at the set that we're going to be using. This is uh, my M31 folder, or one of them, uh, 3rd of the 10th this year, and these are the files from the night. So we have bias files, 100 of them, we have our dark files, there's 12, we have our flat frames per channel, because I'm using a CCD with a filter wheel, and also our light frames, which contains all our data and as you can see there's 12 luminance frames 12 red 12 green 12 blue which makes a total of four hours worth of data as they were three minute exp uh, yeah sorry <laughs> they were five minute exposures and there's 12 of them so an hour per channel now I use PixInsight now for all of my pre-processing and post-processing um, so I'm going to be using it throughout this um, series um, I'm not some of the stuff I'll talk about um, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much depth uh, there's loads of tutorials online and I will link stuff in the description um, so basically yeah PixInsight so what we need to do I just one other thing I will talk about is if you noticed in these folders if we look at our light frames in our luminance folder we have our light frames that were taken on the night and I've also created folders now the reason for this is when you do things to these or when you calibrate them and then you stack them you want a place to put them so you, the new images go into separate folders and so on and so on they're easier to keep track of um, having files just all over the place is a nightmare especially towards the end because you'll suddenly start to see that when you've got four channels each with their own masters there are you know and, and the flats as well there's suddenly a lot of files now, i'm not sure how big this whole folder is but this is let's just have a quick look 16.8 gig so there's quite a lot of information in here um so yeah, just wanted to overview that. And now what we're going to do is start right at the beginning. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Right, picks in sight. Two ways to do things. We can do things manually, which I'm going to do. Um, have more control that way. And it's just the way I've got used to doing things. You can also do things automatically for pre-process in a script called batch pre-processing, which is very similar to Deep Sky Stacker in respect that you just tell it your files and it will run everything for you. Now there, there's recommendations that one you can use the script, but when you get to your light frames, you use the image it produces as a reference, close it without saving, and then restack the calibrated light frames manually to get better control. Um, you just get better results that way. So we're not going to use this. Because if I was to set this up and then run it, it takes ages. So we're not going to bother. Yes, close that. Okay, so we're going to start by creating our master files. Master bias, master darks, master flats. To calibrate to our light frames. What we want to do is then, once we have our masters, we're going to calibrate them to each other. So we'll make our bias and we are, we'll subtract that bias from the dark frame. Because the dark frame contains bias also. Then we're also going to subtract the bias and the dark from the flat so they're all just the clean data they're just that that specific thing so they're just bias just dark just flat because if you have your bias frame and you have your dark frame which contains bias also if you subtract it twice two negatives is positive so you actually end up having uh, an adverse bias signal which in some images you, you probably honestly wouldn't really notice the difference for, for 
you know, to do it 100%, this is the recommended way. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so let's get started with doing our bias master.